Someone pointed out something in one of our previous videos that I had never even thought of. Was that? It? Uh, they use the contact beam as their secondary weapon. Specifically because the contact beam, once fully upgraded, can one-shot most minor bosses. Okay. And the contact beam ammo is the most expensive of all of the ammos. So if you don't use it... So you just collect it all and then sell it. And then you'll have a bunch of uh, plasma cutter ammo if you want to go for that kind of run. Yep. So I might, I might just carry around the contact beam. <laughs> You're not going to use it. You just want to generate expensive well, ammo. Uh, maybe I'll use it. I'll try it a couple times. I mean, I'll just have it in my inventory in case <laughs> I ever want it. <laughs> I'm not going to use my nose to upgrade it, but I'll have it. <laughs> I got to upgrade my oxygen. Oh, I re okay. So I was playing, um, not, see more contact ammo. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Just, yeah. why am I finding so much contact <laughs> energy? I don't even have it on me. It's raining contact energy. So I I've been playing Resident Evil Village. Uh, Resident Evil 8 Village, yes. Yes, Resident Evil 8 Village. In preparation for the DLC that's coming out for it, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that is coming out soon, isn't it? Yeah, um, so I've been playing that. Um, been, been installing some goofy mods. So, like, for example, uh, the Duke always wears <laughs> deal with it glasses now. Uh, okay. Uh, I replaced... I replaced... The, the, don't get mad. I replaced Lady D... Uh-huh, uh-huh. ...with Excella from Resident Evil 5. Okay, that's pretty <laughs> fun. And god damn! <laughs> god! <laughs> they, they... Yeah. She has some very lovingly... The, the mod author for that one mm -hmm. made some very lovingly crafted booba for Excella. Yeah. And here I thought that modders couldn't create a booba mod for Lady Dimitriescu because Capcom had beaten him at their own game. Little did I know. Oh, I also had another mod that replaces, uh, that Lady, it makes Lady Dimitriescu wear, uh, uh, her actress, uh, Maggie, I think it's Maggie Robertson. Okay. It makes her wear the, the dress she wore at the Game Awards, which is a really good looking dress. All right. You, um, she's got, the, in the game, Lady Dimitriescu has three daughters, doesn't she? Could you get a mod that replaces them with Ed, Ed, and Eddie, please? Oh my God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so good. All right, we're gonna buy the contact beam. <laughs> all right. Um, that'd be so. No, there is one that replaces them all with, uh, with characters from. Um, why can I not remember the name of it now? Uh, Near Automata. Oh, okay. It replaces them all with characters from Near Automata. It was kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying as I'm playing through it because I was like, I'm looking for cool mods to install because I'm I'm probably gonna end up streaming it just for giggles. Yeah, sure. You play the stuff you like. Hey. I'm looking for cool mods to install, and it's just like, naked, 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 <laughs> nudity, naked, yes. nudity, erect nudity, uh -huh. naked. And that I'm like, is... all right, all right, all right, all right, this is too much. I can't stream any of these. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to remove all them from the equation. Just go ahead and remove any mod that gets rid of nudity. 37 <laughs> options removed. There are 100 options remaining. Great. <laughs> <laughs> And instead of adding nudity, they're just adding more scantily clad clothing instead. Yeah, there's some there's some neat mods. I found a, a couple that I'm that I'm kind of into. Resident but... Evil modders are just way too horny for some oh, reason. Oh god, they're so horny! It's ridiculous. Like there's a lot of other games that have horny uh, mods, but I mean, it seems like Resident Evil. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. There we go. Let's just take care of that real quick. Might want to remove him. I mean, subject is offline for some reason, Isaac. I'll see if I can run a bypass. You're a bypass. Hey, I found a dead body. He was screaming. Don't worry, I took care of it. Yeah. Now, now there's no way he's gonna attack me. What do you uh, think caused that? That guy hmm, just had no arms or limbs, just screaming in the elevator. Is weird. Gee, what could it have been? All right. So we need to go a down. Anyway, the reason I brought up Resident Evil is because I realized in the beginning of Resident Evil Village. Uh, when you're carrying Rose around the apartment and bringing her to bed, you can look at a variety of different things. Uh, yeah, around the house? Around mean? the house. And one of the things is he'll he'll remark on, like, some some CDs and how, like, someday when she's older, they'll listen to music together. Mm -hmm. Even though she's a baby and you can listen to music with your baby whenever you want. Yeah, but you can't enjoy it in the same way when they're a baby. One of the CDs that's in there I thought was kind of funny because the CD is Pink Floyd. No, the CD is Miss D and the Paul Boys. <laughs> All right. I was like, oh, I wonder if that's kind of like a fun little, a fun little reference like, to Dimitri Miss Dimitriescu. It, it, it's her. It, it, her it's it, legitimately her. her in image. the lore of Resident, oh, hello, missed that guy. In the lore of Resident Evil in the 1930s, 
Lady Dimitriescu was a jazz singer. When she was, like, young in her 20s, oh. she was a jazz singer. I see. So that is actually her. So <laughs> Ethan listened. Ethan w was a big fan of Lady Dimitriescu before she was a nine-foot-tall vampire woman. Who tried to kill him. Yeah. Which I think would have been really funny if there was just, like, a little Easter egg that you could find in there. Just like, I, I I know not Wild Wasteland because that's not a thing for this game. I'm nope. hearing a lot of organic squidging. Uh, it's, oh my god, it's this guy. Hey, more towels. Ah, oh, no. I'm uh, getting attacked by a bath you towel. You used too much starch on me. Arr. It's like when the shower's too hot and the shower curtain keeps attacking you. <laughs> ah, oh, there's more. Oh, you need to be super dry. Okay, you are just being swarmed, aren't we? Yes. Yes, I, it's because I tried to use this thing. The... The, oh, that's the, the the supercharger gun thing. That's not yeah. the pulse cutter. That's the force cannon, right? Yes. Force cannon. All right. Uh, where is? Okay. Okay. We... It takes way too long to charge that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Remember, it's always fast to switch to your, switch to your backup plasma cutter. What's really funny is if you get in the elevator, they run away. Oh so check yeah. It, check this out. Here, I come out here. Come out here. And they're like, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Guys, he left. He's in the safe zone. I'm in Colorado. No, I'm in Wyoming. I'm in Colorado. No, I'm in Wyoming. But anyway, yeah, I thought that was really funny that, uh. Burr. That's Burr. like a little. Yeah, it's a little fun Easter egg. I like that. A little those. fun Easter egg for the for the observant. Yeah. Oh, that did not go well for me. That was kind of a shit show. Well, we're getting used to uh, the controls. Getting back into it. You do need to heal, though, after that, yes. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, since we were talking about games we've been playing, I also went back and played the second Ratchet and Clank game recently, Going yeah. Commando. You remember that one? I do remember that. Uh, classic Vaguely. games. Yes. Yeah, why'd you play that? I just had the itch for it, and it's one of Anne's favorite Riz uh, Ratchet and Clanks. I like the third one a bit more, but she likes the second one, so I played a bit of the second one just to see if maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe the second one is better. And it does have a lot of fun moments, but I, as I was going back to it, I, I remembered there were some maybe not as fun moments. There was uh, Like this? Like this part that I'm doing right here where well, I'm riding on this gondola? Yeah, this, this does not seem to be a fun part of Dead Space 1. This part seems to be kind of, uh, I mean, I'm, there's, a, there's like a gondola part of Resident Evil 4 and people love that, but this does seem to be kind of uh, a little annoying. It's not really scary, it's just kind of a shooting gallery. Yeah. Very dramatic music right. for, for not a whole lot going on. Anyway, so what was really annoying about Ratchet and Clank? Uh, Ow! A lot of small things. I think one of the most noteworthy parts is when you're wandering around the uh, the snowy landscape, basically collecting crystals in a snowy blizzardy area. Whoa, using my keyboard now. Just in time to be done with that. Your mouse keyboard probably would have been handy for that. Yeah, I'm going to try mouse and keyboard for a little bit. All right. Anyway, go on. Yeah, it's just the snowy area. Oh! Oh shit, it's Nicole! It feels like it's been so long. Dang it! I can't shoot her. But I can help you now. Come with me. Oh yeah? Looks like Nicole's not dead after all. We're gonna go see Hooray! And Nicole! Anyway, there's yetis that jump out of the snow at you, and you're trying to run around this desert and well, the blizzard covered desert. Like it's just it's just an open expanse, just a flat terrain covered in snow, and you're just going around trying to collect crystals. You know, just speeding around in your speed boots, and then just a Yeti pops up in front of you, and these things are super tanky, and they start smacking you. They're just really annoying. That sounds really annoying. Yeah, and so you're just you're running around this entire area trying to collect crystals. Yetis are popping up in front of you, and also there's, like, pools of water scattered around. And you touch your tiniest toe. If you just skim over that cold water, your character, Ratchet, will freeze instantly, and oh, you'll God. be sent all the way back to the start. That's... So, yeah, it takes a while mm. going to collect those crystals. It's it's very frustrating. That's not great, but yeah. okay. The beacon's in the storage room next to you. I think I could disable the lock from here. Well, hurry Hold up on. and do it already. Do it then. Do it then. Do it then. Do it then. Oops. Wrong. Okay, what is... Uh, no, you, you, gotta you gotta learn all the C. controls. It's C. Okay, I couldn't remember what stasis was. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> oh, no, Nicole, look out. Look out, it's a zombie! I mean, Nicole is a hallucination and not real, so... You don't know that! You're not Nicole! Wait, how is Nicole actually helping you if she's not interacting with things really? Well, I don't know. What Magic. if you let her get attacked? Uh, she gets 
She gets hurt and then cowers until you until you save her. Oh, so basically she's got plot armor. I think she might die eventually. Oops. Well, I guess we'll see because we're having trouble locating where the body parts are. Let the body parts hit the floor. Ooh. <laughs> Hiding contact energy there, I guess. Look what I got. Look what he's got. Body parts everywhere. Wee! 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 Oh no! Oh, oh. Now he's on this side. Ooh. Are these the tougher versions of these enemies? They no, they're the basic enemies. Hmm. I think they're a little redder than the, the basic enemies. I mean, they might be a little redder, but they're they're kind of the standard ones. Yeah. Can you can you hurry up, Nicole? Oh no! It's another one. Bum, bum, oh, bum, it's bum, bum. us and you at the same time. No! Ah, oh, use the freezy freeze. And here come angry babies. Yep, we take priority. Sorry, Nicole. We don't really care about you all that much. You're not real. Nicole's aren't real. Did you know that nobody is actually named Nicole? It's true. Anyone who thinks they're named Nicole is actually incorrect. They're actually named Knack. Check their birth certificates. Okay, the door's unlocked, Isaac. <laughs> I can't get over to you, but I'll Oop. find a way. Aha. I love you. This will all be over soon. <laughs> okay, see so you person who's definitely not... I mean, it, it's kind of cool the way they do this. Like, is she sentient? Is she in control of her fa fa faculties? Or is she possessed by the marker? Is she been has she been succumbed succumbing to unitology? We don't know. And then surprise third option, she's already been dead and you're hallucinating. It's that one. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Ooh, level four suit! Alright. That's we need that. Do we need that? Yes, because we need the level four suit. Or do we just want that? Hey, I lost your signal for a while. Oh, I wonder why. I see you've got the beacon, so head for the mining bay and attach it to the asteroid. Oh, for God's sake. Did I pick I've up the... I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. In his state, I can't imagine he's still alive. Isn't it strange that you don't see or hear from Nicole and that other woman at the same time? Maybe she actually secretly was Nicole! Maybe they're the same person! She said, Isaac, come rescue me, and then she escorted you here, which is a little weird. Yeah. It's the Shadow Moses incident all over again. Wait, why are we going back now? Uh, because we have to. Do we? Yeah. What did we come all the way over here for? Just the schematic for the level four suit? Uh, the schematic and that, that thing that I had to pick up. The, the oh, there's a plot item you picked up? Yeah, there here? was a plot item back oh. there. It was the, the beacon, remember? Oh, okay. Well, guess go back to shooting all these little creatures, tentacle monsters. Uh, we got a baby? I hear a baby. I mean, you probably could just not shoot these guys and save ammo. Like, strafe around a bit. Just strafe around a bit, save ammo. It's probably a pro, stat, a pro strat right there. Ow. Tell me, baby, what is it you want? I want to stab you in the face. That's the song the baby's singing. I don't know if you picked up on that. I didn't. I didn't know they had a mouth. Yeah. Bye. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. We got a thing. Yes. And the force gun. Oops, I missed. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Remember, it's always faster to get ripped apart instead of reloading. Ah! <laughs> not ideal. I'm wearing safety gear. He's not, though. So the door won't open. Let's go to the mall. Let's sell some of the stuff we got because our inventory just keeps getting packed, you know? Oh, my. He was faking. Who saw that coming? I've been trying to mod Skyrim, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because there's four different versions of that game out now. Yeah. Yeah, there's normal editions, legendary edition, special edition, anniversary edition. It's just uh, complex. There isn't a single space-worthy vessel in the whole goddamn bay. Jacob, hurry up! We need to find a beacon. There's gotta be one around here. Oh, hey, Temple found his girlfriend. Oh, excellent. Maybe, maybe Nicole was his girlfriend. Maybe Nicole was being unfaithful to you. N no, I don't think so. Well, you don't know. You're you're here to find out. You're here to discover what happened. Oh, two for it. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll just back away. Okay, they're both taken care of now. No worries. I don't know what we were worried about. I don't know what I was worried about either. I got this. I'm smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm clever. I've got rhythm. I've got a contact beam. I keep calling it a plasma beam, but it's, it's not. It's a nothing is made of plasma. I mean, it might be like supercharged plasma. 
We, we keep calling it the plasma cutter. Is, the, is that what it is? It's the plasma cutter? Uh, the plasma cutter is the other one. This one is the contact. Right. Beam. I keep calling it the plasma cutter, the plasma rifle, and the the plasma beam. It's not, they're not this. Not everything yeah, is made out of plasma, Mike. Well, they might be in this strange future. Mayhaps. Isn't there, I thought there was, okay, I need to find a store. So you can buy the plasma ripper. So I can get rid of stuff. Yeah, so I can get the plasma plasma. <laughs> See, he, he's trying to fix his posture, but he's not doing a very good job. That's actually what all those metal things on his armor are. They're, they're not they're, armor, they're, it's a back brace. It's a back brace. Yeah. <laughs> and an arm brace, because he has bad arm posture as well. Yeah, he's got carpal tunnel. There you go, now we can trade in everything. And buy the level 4 suit. Except I can't afford it, because it costs 35! Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the gold semiconductor can help you out a little bit there. And also, you've got all these med packs you're not using because you're a pro with this game, so... Might as well I wouldn't, start I would not them. say that, but... Either sell them or store them. They're just taking up room in your inventory, where you can be picking up stuff you do sell. Also, I could sell this contact energy. Check this out. Sell all of it, yes. Look, you're almost there. You've almost got enough. You've almost got enough. Sell those dumb med packs. You'll be able to get that level 4 suit. No. <laughs> okay. I did sell the force gun, though. So now I can buy the level 4 suit. Okay. So we're not gonna get the force gun or force gun ammo anymore, huh? Nah, I don't think so. We'll try the we'll try the contact beam for a bit, and then I'll probably just go back to using just the plasma cutter because the plasma cutter are OP. Okay, it is really the the first weapon you get in the game is the best weapon. Yeah, especially because that's the one you mod. Ooh, look at that mask. Ooh. Ooh, it's got three vents now. Yeah, now we're looking real cool. We are covered in little metal brackets. I, I feel like those are supposed to be like crush proofing so that you can't get crushed by stuff, That's but I, I have much. no, I have nothing to back that up. Mm -hmm. It's just style points. Style. Upgrade your plasma cutter. No, upgrading the rig. Uh, plasma on. cutter is already fully upgraded. Uh, so yeah, we can't actually yeah. go any further on plasma cutter. That's true. So we could do kinesis module, stasis module, or rig, which I think we're going to do rig. Get a little bit more health just in case. Yeah. Uh, and then the next time I upgrade, I hopefully will have enough to be able to go to like duration on stasis. Mm -hmm. Just for a little bit more. Sure. Maybe I'll do contact beam. Uh, it takes a while to get the it first does. few. It uh, takes a while to get there. I like how when you upgrade your rig and get another health point for it, it gives you an extra spinal... Yeah, it gives you an extra little spot on there. Yeah, it gives you an extra spine piece. You got six spine pieces now. We all ready to go? I think we list? are all ready to go. We need to go to processing now. All right, what are we doing right now? Uh, we are installing a, a distress beacon onto a meteorite. And onto, a, onto a chunk of rock. And then we're going to launch that meteorite out into space so people will know not to come here? Uh, so people will come to rescue us. I actually, I don't think I don't think it's a meteorite. I think it's just a chunk of rock. Okay. Which, I... Wait, what? Know, oh, actually, yeah. We need a distress beacon because our ship got destroyed. That's right. Yeah, we don't have a, we don't have a ship right now. Mm. So we need, we need someone to come rescue us. We right. need to call the rescue rangers. But given the situation, should you be luring more people to their imminent death? I say no... But Isaac wants to live for some baffling reason. Weird. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't want to live. I think just take the L on this one. Take the L for humanity and just yeah. Yeah. I would live out the rest of your days living off the food here, drink the blood of the necromorphs, and just accept. Your, I, I, accept I don't, not even live the rest of your days. Just let the ship crash into the planet. Oh, so is, it, the, is the ship descending right now? Is it descending? Uh, towards no, Earth? we did. We did make it go back up so it's not descending towards the planet Oh, we anymore. stabilized it? I completely forgot. I did not yeah, see that did, happen. We did that earlier. Okay. Uh, okay. Things are screaming around over here. Yeah, things are screeching. Yeah, we'll just ignore that. Like, we ignore everything, essentially. I ignore lots of stuff. Locked. Okay, for some reason we can't... Oh. Hello! Nice legs, sprinter. Nice legs. Think I'll take them. And then use them against your friend, maybe? I'll, t I'll graft them onto myself and become Legman! Why are you kicking yourself? I am le Oh, I could have just kept going where there was a store right here. You went all the way back to go to the store, you could have just kept on going. Uh, see, it just goes to show how useless this map is. Mm. Well, let's get some art items and sell them immediately in the store, so they're not taking up room with the inventory. Well, how much space are they taking up with the inventory? Just too much space. It's, oh, we're fine. Look how much space we got. I mean, yeah, but it's gonna fill up. I guess you'd have level four, so you'd have more space now. The situation here just got a lot worse. The gravity failure came on as we were collating asteroids. Shouldn't they be collecting? 
One broke free of the gravity beam. It collided with a wall, killing two crew and split into chunks. They're free floating in the processing room, and we can't restore gravity to get the master key until they're cleared. We really could use some engineering up here. I'm engineering. I am an engineer. I can do some engineering. I'm engineer. Detective Zack <laughs> proceeds <laughs> on into the, the depths of the Ichimura. Watch out. There's sparks here. Detective Zack was able to deduce that because he's a genius. Ooh, a ruby semiconductor. Didn't want that. Wanted that. Thank you. Look but, a meteorite. Okay. Oh, that's the thing that came through and crushed two people. Detective Jack has discovered what the source of the problem is. It won't open until gravity is restored. It's a dead guy. Gravity until those boulders are cleared from the room. Maybe you can dump them into that gravity beam with your sneezes gun. <laughs> yeah, like that. Hi, <laughs> have fun. Have fun enjoying the space in there. There's four anomalies. Am I an anomaly? I am an anomaly. You might be. Okay, so just get all the rocks, put them in the tractor beam. Um, it says there's still four anomalies. Okay, that got incinerated. All right, so. Yeah, it just takes a second. Anomaly destroyed. Oh, I hear, I hear bad guys. I hear naughty, naughty necromorphs. Does that mean there's more anomalies on the, on the uh, heads up display over there? Nah. The more enemies show up and then. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Eight anomalies. 12 anomalies, 14 anomalies. Exponential increase of anomalies. That'd be a little off-putting. Yeah, just letting you know there's some enemies coming. Some anomalies. I'm sure other games have done that exact thing. But possibly. It's another anomaly, said Detective Jack. <laughs> slurpy, slurpy, slurp, slurp. One of the comments on the video the first time I did Detective Zack, they were like, Zack's nerd voice hurts my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Hug the baby! Ah! It's the baby! You got so close, you didn't know what- Oh, uh, that's a hug- No, not with the hug gun, no! You hugged one of his arms. Second to- Okay, now he's slowly drifting. Thank you for the money, baby! Kick the baby. Kick, what, if, what if you uh, just jump in the tractor beam yourself? Can you do that? Can, it, can you? Yeah, yes, you can! All right! Yeah, it just kills you. <laughs> Aw. I guess it is to be expected, though. I kind of hope there would be a thing where he's like, no, 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 like waving, <laughs> like trying to swim through the air and yeah. it's not working. That would have been hilarious. This game has some fun deaths. Oh, dude, I found out, I found out that on, uh, when they were running Skylab, so Skylab, for those that don't know, was like one of the, one of, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> Skylab was one of the first, like, actual occupied, uh, satellite, like, space stations mm -hmm. that, that we had. Okay. And it was literally a chunk of a Saturn V rocket that they weren't going to use for the Apollo program because the Apollo program got canceled. Hmm. So it was like the fuel tank of the Saturn V that they just made habitable. Okay. And apparently one of the things that some of the some of the astronauts on Skylab did, it's like a prank, was they would lure someone to the middle because it's huge on the inside of Sky. It was huge on the inside of Skylab. Okay. They would lure someone to the middle and then leave them there so that now they're stuck there's nowhere for them there's nowhere for them to like grab to to pull themselves to because they're in zero gravity uh -huh. so they're just like spinning around going because ah! <laughs> they would just be stuck in the middle of Skylab <laughs> <laughs> alright fun prank I guess as long yeah. as yeah I mean, like you could just have someone reach out and grab them eventually but yeah they're just like whoa yeah. <laughs> it's like they can't move Seems like it could be a bit of an issue, though, if you if there's a spot in your workplace where if there's no one around to help you, you're just immobilized. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's it, Sky. Everybody could see everyone at all times, so it's not like it was difficult to to get to somebody. Still, though, a bit of a design flaw. I mean, well, all of Skylab was a design flaw. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the most well thought out plan. From what you're saying, it, it doesn't sound like it was initially designed to be lived in. I mean, it was, but not initially. It, it it wasn't initially designed to be lived in much in the same way. The where is this guy? There's body parts everywhere. I can't say exactly. I, what oh, I, there he is. It wasn't initially designed to be lived in much in the way people live in. Oh my god. People live in shipping containers, even though they're not designed to be lived in. Right. Oh, there he is. Aha! Uh -huh. It was you the entire time, small baby. Ah, uh, yeah, the zero gravity part. Hmm, where is the last? Oh, there it is. There, there. it is. Wasn't paying attention. I mean, technically, there's a lot of anomalies in this area, but that's the biggest one. Oh, yeah, now I have to go back over here. That's right. You gotta turn it back on manually. <laughs> the body parts just bouncing all around. Lovely. 
And then, oh my! Oh no! You probably could just freeze him and run past him, right? Probably what is not. your What is your obsession with not killing everything? I'm just. What kind of no? Oh! <laughs> I'm just saying, getting out of the hazardous area might have been a, a good idea before. Yeah. Reinforcements showed up. What kind of a not sociopath are you? I'm not saying you can't kill him. I'm just saying, you know, conserve ammo. You can. You can sell the ammo you save, you can buy more nodes, make your guns stronger. Yeah, and then and then not use it because I have to sell more ammo to buy more ammo. <laughs> exactly, you can save ammo for future use, and that future use is not using it. God, there, okay, more of them showed up behind you, including more explodey boys. There's a lot of see, there's a lot of them showing up now. You're just losing all your ammo left and right. Oh, your stockpile is being depleted! Oh boy, oh no, my stockpile! And also your stockpile of health. Oh no, looks like you didn't need it after all. Looks like keeping all that was a good idea. You're like someone that invests money in the stock market so they can invest more money in the stock market so they can invest more money in the stock market. So they can never actually take any of that money out. Just keep investing it in the stock market and but never actually using it for anything. They can if they want to use if they want to make a big purchase, they want to use that money, they can just win. No, they can't, because if they take it out of the stock market, then they'll lose it! But My equity! <laughs> But then you'll have the money that you need, and also maybe more money. And you won't, because you have to keep it in the stock market, because otherwise you lose it. Hey, speaking of the stock market, remember when GameStop exploded? That was pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. It was, like, worth five bucks a share, and then it catapulted up to 200 bucks, like, yeah, like 200 bucks a share. Which is pretty pricey. It was just another instance of the, of the... Hello? Jittery, jittery, jittery. Hello? Occupado! <laughs> This bathroom is occupied, sir! Hey, I'm just checking on- Hey, it's just me, I'm just checking on you to make sure everything's good in this urinal. <laughs> hey, could you pass me some toilet paper? <laughs> hey man, I am out of TP. I could really use a, a, a spare square. Help a brother out, alright? Come on, I'm desperate here. Look at my floppy tentacle. Dude, uh, just even like- just, Is there a magazine you can tear a page off of? Maybe a sock. I mean, I don't, I don't want to use my sock. I'm very desperate. There was one time I was in the military, I literally used my underwear, and then just threw it away. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep. It's, uh, I had no toilet des paper. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's why one of the things that I always put in, uh, that's one of the things that, but That's why one of the things I always put in a bag for, uh, for, like, hiking is, uh, some toilet paper in a plastic bag. Because the only thing worse than not having toilet paper is having just a mass of wet toilet paper. Yes, that's why you put it in the plastic bag. Wow, okay, 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 we were... In oh, the menus while that mind. was going on. All right, never mind, it was a false flag, false alarm. False alarm! I hear things moving around, but it's probably not our concern. No, my ripper blades, no! I don't need those. <laughs> I, I, I do remember uh, back when uh, GameStop and AMC prices just kind of jumped up and everyone thought it was gonna be like the next big thing for a while. Yeah, I, I, you and I both got, got in on that for a little bit. I, yeah, for a little bit, but basically, like, I just kept getting screwed on shit. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what day trading program I tried to use, because I was trying, I was trying to buy like, like Dogecoin and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to do it, mm -hmm. and like, I don't know, like, no matter which thing I would use, it was just like. Oh, you have to wait 78 hours before we're going to authorize your account for anything. Yeah, that's all nonsense. You can't make money like that. Like, no, 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 no. You got to do it instantly, or at least within 24 hours. Right? And it's just like, okay, cool, great. So, n nothing worked. I just couldn't get anything to work properly. Mm -hmm. And eventually I was just like, man, this is all fucking stupid. You know, if, <laughs> it kind of worked out in your favor because in the end, yeah, it was all kind of fucking stupid. Yeah, it was all really stupid. I basically gave up almost immediately, and I was just like, wow, this is all dumb. Yeah, well, you, sh you should feel sad, Zach. You missed out on the Grand Pyramid scheme that was... Yeah, I did. All of that. There were some people that made money. Sure as shit wasn't fucking you, though. No. Well, uh, where am I going? Eh? I mean, I, I held on to it for a little bit. I'm but... oh, sorry, I meant the royal you. Oh, okay. Not, so not then... you specifically, I meant the royal you. Yeah, I, I did buy, like, I don't know, 10 shares of GameStop back when it was pricey, and then I sold it at a loss. But I'm glad I did sell it at a loss, because it's back down to, like, Eight, ten bucks a share, maybe? Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's pretty much collapsed. Just like all of those pyramid schemes do. Yep. It's a shame. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I, I freaking, I hate the stock market. Like, yeah. I, like, with a passion. <laughs> I think it's the dumbest shit. Mm hmm. The stock market results in, 
like people losing their homes because of imaginary money. It's gambling for the stock market is gambling for rich people. Yeah, that is all it is. It is gambling for rich people, and people sell imaginary numbers and buy imaginary numbers, and somehow some dude wearing a suit makes money. Yeah, that that uh, old adage: when the stock market goes up, somebody you've never met makes a bunch of money, and when the stock market goes down, you lose your job. Yep. Just nonsense. Yeah, it's completely stupid. I hate the stock market. But they incentivize you to invest in the stock market. Have you tried to invest money in like a bank's savings account? Oh, it's just it's it's all just investing money in the stock market. No, 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 no. You 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 open a saving you having a bank savings account was a great idea back when the interest rates were reasonable. But you put five thousand dollars in a savings account these days and you get like ten cents back on it. Because they lowered the interest rate because they want you to put your money in the stock market. They want you to put all of your money in the stock And then no one's got a savings account anymore. And then we all lose everything. Yeah. Part of the part of the biggest problem, part of the big problem was in the 80s when uh, the Reagan government revoked the Glass-Steagall Act, which was basically, it basically was an act that banks were not allowed to gamble your money on the stock market. Mm -hmm. Banks were not allowed to use your money. When you put that money in the bank, that was your money. Yep. And that that was implemented after the Great Depression because there was a massive stock market crash and everyone <laughs> lost their fucking money. Mm -hmm. After that happened, they were like, okay, well, we got to make sure that banks can't just spend your money willy-nilly. And then in the 80s, they revoked that. Because they had so many great ideas in the 80s. Yeah. In the 80s, they revoked that. And then now you, like, the the banks want you to put money in this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all. It's frustrating. It's all frustrating. It's all dumb. Doesn't matter. Oh, no. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you mind? We're talking about banking legislature. We're talking about how all banks need to be abolished. Death to America. Stop saying that. Death to the corporate overlords. <laughs>